everyone. Welcome to Bella's Patio Garden today. Hey, I'm going to do some gardening. Today I'm going to start winter sowing. Anyone who's seen previous videos uh, has seen that I have very little space inside uh, west and east oriented windows. It's difficult to start plants indoors and it's a real struggle to not have them get leggy. So I am going to experiment this year with winter sewing. Winter. I'm going to make a miniature greenhouse out of pop bottles. Take the label off and milk jugs. So for anyone who hasn't seen how to make a miniature greenhouse out of a milk jug, here's what we're going to do. So um, I have washed these and rinsed them out. Before I put soil in them, I will wash them again uh, once I have them cut open, just because I'm not confident that I, I washed them well enough. And so the way I'm going to poke holes in this, we're going to cut this in half just below the handle here and make a hinge. Uh, there's several ways you can make holes in the bottom. Some people use soldering irons or a piece of wire uh, heated up in a candle. You can use a drill. Um, a good sharp pair of scissors will work. I find my scissors aren't quite that sharp. So I'm just using this really long screw. And I've got the glove on because I found that it kind of hurts my hands a bit. And that gives me a starting hole. See, that went in very easily, and that gives me a starting hole, and then what I can do is stick the tip of my scissor in there, and I just give it a spin, and that largens that hole a bit. You want to have at least four to six holes in the bottom of the jug for good drainage. You're going to leave the lid off. If you don't have a big enough hole, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. But it is also recommended you could poke, you know, a few extra little holes in the top of this. Just little ones. You don't want too much heat to escape. But the idea is that then you let nature water it. When the snow melts, as it snows on the plant, water will get in there. And you don't have to worry about watering these until you get into the spring. And they start growing. And if you have a good enough, if this is sealed good enough and you have a good enough environment, you'll see condensation in there and you'll know that there's enough moisture and the CO2, which traps heat, will help to keep those plants alive. Apparently, seeds grown by this method, uh, your seedlings are going to be much hardier and stronger, probably shorter. You're going to have less problems with the legginess. So we shall see what happens. This is my first year doing it but I'm very excited about this concept and love the idea that I don't need to, you know, rearrange my whole household to make space to try and grow these poor seeds that struggle so as best as they can in my east and west facing windows where they're only getting part sun anyway. Okay, so I'm going to finish making my containers. Uh, give them another wash and I will come back to give you an example of how you actually sow your seeds. So I'm going to plant quite a few things with this method. Uh, might do just a very small amount of some backup of things that I'm really concerned about just because I don't know how well this will work um, in my part shade yard. Right now I'm thinking I can possibly give my plants three and a half to four hours of sun. This would work much better if I had a south location where it would get sun all day. But anyway, I'm just using a regular potting mix. You don't have to fill this up with too much soil and really your bigger concern is to make sure that they have lots of room to grow inside. You only need, you know, maybe three or four inches of soil. I am planting celery. Never grown celery before but quite excited about this. I'm going to sow it, um, depending on how it starts, this is 100 to 120 days maturity. I may be harvesting it a little young possibly. Uh, we get just over 100 days here, 105 to 112 frost-free days in zone three. So another reason why I'm hoping I wanna get this started soon, March 19th, 
it's really a little early to be starting most seedlings in our zone. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to be growing celery in a pot. I'm hoping to have four. So I think I'll plant these a little thicker just for good measure. Just because I've never done this winter sowing method before and because I am doing it in a part shade space, I want to be, you know, I want a little bit of backup. So I might be sowing a little too many seeds, but I'd rather have that and then have to share the wealth than plant not enough and just, you know, have put wasted effort into that crop. So I just lightly covered them. I packed the soil down a little bit. You don't want it to be too tight, but we want those good and wet when we put them outside so we don't have to worry too much about watering. Hopefully, we I don't know, you know, it might be a drier spring. So give that a good watering. It's attached with duct tape. Seal that up all the way around. Uh, some people, especially if you get this fit inside, uh, will just put pieces on wherever there's gaps. That'll work too. I will be uh, keeping a journal. So I, you know, on the tape back here, I did write my date, March 19th. My marker isn't working very well but I also keep a journal of when I plant everything so I will have these dates recorded in my journal and when I first see sprouts etc etc one thing to note so I'm, and I've got my label on the bottom as well as backup so I'm labeling and labeling 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 um, but these are fairly sizable and you wouldn't think that they would blow away in the wind but there's only you know several inches of soil in the bottom so they're actually not that heavy especially if they dry out so try to place them somewhere um, preferably on the ground in my case I kind of want to raise them up because my fence and the building creates so much shade I want to give these as much Sun as possible that being the case I may actually tape several of them together or elastic or tie uh, several of them together to give them more weight and if you're using smaller containers and pop bottles um, it is best to put them down on the ground somewhere sheltered uh, fairly level where the wind isn't going to blow them over and harm your your planters and so I have several of these that I'm going to do and once they're done, I will give you just an overview of what's going on with my winter sewing. And then we'll be checking in on it periodically to see what kind of success I have. So zone three, part shade, winter sewing. And it's really just as simple as that. There's a little bit of effort into it, but uh, I'm expecting great results. I'm hoping for great results. So Bella and I wish you serenity and contentment. Remember, we can grow with nature. And until next time, have a glorious day. Thanks for watching.